Thank you, Denny. The Breeders' Cup will stay at Santa Anita Park in California. Now, the organization met today to talk about possibly relocating the World Thoroughbred Championships to Churchill Downs. Andrew Chernoff is in Lexington where that meeting was held. Andrew, there was some talk about moving it to Churchill Downs. There sure was a lot of speculation, Jennifer, but at the end of the day, the Breeders' Cup Board of Directors voting unanimously to keep the event at Santa Anita November 1st and 2nd of this year. Now, there was a lot of discussion here in Lexington about what to do with the event during today's regularly scheduled board meeting, thanks in part to what's happened at the California racetrack. 30 horses have died either training or racing there since around Christmas of last year, and that's led to a ton of speculation about this event. Breeders' Cup President and CEO Craig Fravel saying that meaningful and effective reform have been implemented there in recent months and they will continue to devote time and energy to advance those efforts. Obviously, reaction from across the horse racing world tonight, including from trainer Kenny McPeak, who has won almost 1,700 races in his career, including the 2002 Belmont Stakes. I've raced in the Breeders' Cup out there multiple times, never had a problem. Track's always been fantastic that time of year. I think the issues that they had were more associated with the winner and during the winter in California, and I've, I've stabled out there during the winter where we got a lot of rain, it's pretty it's pretty tough. And you got storms coming in pretty regularly, and um, hopefully they're they're uh, past that and get a lot of that sorted out. There is obviously a reaction from more people than Kenny McPeak, but you just heard from Kenny right there. There's another angle to this story too. California's governor just signed a bill that gives the state's horse racing board the authority to suspend licenses from tracks if it deems that it's a danger, a safety risk to jockeys and the horses. Now, that means if the board decides to suspend Santa Anita's license before the Breeders' Cup, then the Breeders' Cup board may actually have to look for a new location for the race or cancel it altogether. Just one of the various angles to this story. Live in Lexington, Andrew Chernoff, WLKY News.